Greetings, Earthlings. It's Exopolitik with you again for my second video. Still sounding a little nasally this morning, but uh, feeling a little better nonetheless. Um, I just wanted to draw your attention this morning to uh, the EMSC's uh, earthquake database here. Um, you can see that we still have earthquakes going on in the Canary Islands region. Uh, these are earthquakes, once again, that are not showing up on the USGS uh, earthquakes list. Uh, even though they do exceed some of them, many of them, they exceed uh, 3.0 in magnitude. Uh, and uh, I believe the USGS is supposed to list everything above 2.5 on that particular database that I look at. So, uh, you know, to me it, it means they're just omitting some pretty pertinent information um, with regards to the Canary Islands. Um, most recent though, just in the very, very uh, short span of time here, it seems like things have quieted down a little bit. There's a 3.8 uh, that occurred at 9.12 uh, universal time. Um, and that seems to be the last one uh, that's recorded on this database anyways. So I'm going to keep my eye on this and uh, I will report any more um, activity uh, on the, at the Canary Islands because it is something that I think we all need to be paying attention to. I think there's a lot of diversion and a lot of distraction out there. There's a lot of things going on with the economy, uh, things going on with um, asteroids and Elenin and uh, you know, uh, rumors about bunkers and uh, the elite, etc. Meanwhile, I think we really should be paying attention to what's going on seismo seismologically on this planet. Uh, especially the Canary Islands uh, situation because that uh, could ultimately turn into something catastrophic uh, it, it, of global proportions. Okay, one more thing I wanted to bring your attention to. Today is the day, 1 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, uh, sorry, Eastern Daylight Time. They are, NASA is going to be holding a news conference with regards to uh, asteroid search findings uh, from their recent mission that they launched back in December 2009. Uh, the mission was intended to explore near-Earth objects uh, and potentially hazardous objects that are out there that could in fact uh, enter our atmosphere and cause potential problems to the Earth. Um, at any rate, I'm extremely excited, extremely interested to hear what they have to say here. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping they are not going to tell us there's a huge asteroid barreling towards our planet. I'm hoping they're just going to tell us there's a bunch of confetti out there and we may see fireballs in the sky as we have uh, just in the not too distant past. Um, I personally believe meteors and fireballs are going to be something that will become more commonplace. Uh, in our atmosphere. I think uh, we're all probably going to have the opportunity to look up at the sky one day and see a fireball, uh, simply because my gut feeling is there are lots of meteors and asteroids out there and although uh, they may or may not pose a direct threat to our planet, I think uh, they'll definitely give us some spectacular light shows in the uh, not too distant future. Okay, so I guess this is going to be streamed live on the NASA website. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed it's not going to be on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, etc. I don't know for a fact that it's not going to be on network television news, but I'm assuming that it's not simply because I haven't heard anything on uh, regular network TV news. So um, I think we're just going to have to rely on the good old internet to provide us with information that we desperately need because the mainstream media is not there for that. Uh, obviously CNN would rather report on uh, what's going on in Hollywood and with the stars and uh, you know insignificant irrelevant stuff like that. So I'm going to try to record this stream. I don't know whether or not I'll be able to but uh, I'm going to attempt to and hopefully post it a little bit later. At any rate uh, I'm sitting on pins and needles waiting for 1 p.m. I'm wondering if you are as well. Uh, please, if you have any comments, do leave them below this video. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Uh, this is number two of uh, what I hope to be a long series of videos uh, on exopolitics and uh, space and earth changes. And uh, I just wanted to mention that 
Uh, my real intention of this channel is to provide earth change and exopolitical information without the religious drone that accompanies so many other videos in the YouTube world. Uh, there will be no scripture reading on this channel, there will be no quotes from the Bible, uh, there will be no talk about um, revelations and uh, tri tribulations or anything like that. Uh, my intention is to present earth-changing, life-changing information uh, in a completely secular package uh, just to give you the information without any of the religious fluff. So anyways, yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments and suggestions, so please do leave them. If you like what you hear, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll hear more from me. Thanks very much everybody. Have a great day and uh, look forward to my next video. Hopefully we'll have some NASA news conference on there. Thank you and uh, tune in later. Peace, guys.